Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to use stochastic gradient descent algorithm for a linear regression. So in our case, you know, a simple linear regression. In case if you guys are not aware, you know, what is linear regression, how to find the linear uh, regression for a given data set, right? Please watch uh, my playlist. Here I talked about, you know, the basics required for building a simple linear regression, you know, the accuracy, linear regressions in Python, all the things which is required to understand the linear regression, right? So when you talk about the gradient descent, so I already talked about, you know, uh, what is the cost loss function and why we need to use the gradient descent algorithms, the different types of, you know, the gradient descent algorithms. So in this video, as I just told, so we will try to understand how we can use stochastic gradient descent for a simple linear regression, clear? So we, we already know the formula of simple linear regression, right? So it's y equal to mx plus c, where m is our slope and c is the coefficient. So when you talk about the uh, AP stats, right? So we call m, which is slope as a beta one, right? And c as a beta naught. So if we say multiple linear regression, we'll have m1, m2, m3. Similarly, we have beta one, beta two, beta three, right? <coughs> so we, uh, so if you, if you uh, know how a linear regression works right like how this m and c c is calculated so we use some psn coefficient correlation all those things with the help of those we'll calculate our slope and coefficient right but where in case of uh, you know the stochate stochastic gradient descent for linear regression so we don't use those you know the different techniques like correlation the variance all those things to find the the slope and intercept so <clears throat> as it is a gradient descent so we need to go down which means we need to find the best parameters in our, in our case it's m and c which is slope and intercept so so initially we'll make uh, our slope and intercept as a zero right so if you remember uh, when we are talking about you know uh, the different types of gradient descent so i i use the word called weights right so weights and learning rate so in our case so i'm in, i'm initiating my weights for my slope and coefficient which is m and c as zeros right and my learning rate as 0 0.01 so i'm taking my learning rate as 0 0.01 right so now with this what we'll do is and this is our data set with this information we are trying to build a stochastic gradient descent so we'll we'll move to a uh, you know the excel sheet right and yeah so if you see the formula here so this is the formula to for finding the slope which is m so m minus alpha alpha is nothing but learning rate so in our case it is 0 0.01 into error into x x is my variable <coughs> to find the constant or intercept or you know the beta naught so it is like c minus alpha into error so right so on every iteration so we are updating our weights which is nothing but our uh, uh, coefficients and slopes here right based on the error and the learning rate obviously right so so i will learn my algorithm will learn based on the error if you see in every iteration we obviously use error right so based on the error only i need to modify my weight so that you know my coefficients are perfect clear now, as I said, my initially weights, right? So beta naught is nothing but, you know, uh, uh, the intercept where beta one is nothing but our uh, slope. So initially, as I said, we uh, make our uh, slope and constant as a zero. And we know our learning rate is 0 0.01, right? So with the help of this, now we, we are uh, finding the Y. We know X, now we need to find the Y. Right to find the y, what we need, we need the m and c, which is beta naught and beta one in this case. So <clears throat> we know the formula, right? So it is zero, which is this plus beta one is this into one, right? So if you are not clear how this works, please make sure you watch my playlist on linear regression, right? Which is zero. <clears throat> obviously initially our weights are zero right so obviously we'll get zero so now we know how to find the error error is nothing but your predicted value minus your actual value right so in in our case our predicted value is zero 
and our actual value is 1. So we need to find the distance between that, right? So our error is minus 1 here, right? So now what we need to do? So we got the error, right? So in the next iteration, based on this error, I need to update my weights. How we need to update our weights? So we already see this formula here, right? Now for the next iteration, to find the beta naught, which is my our intercept, right? What is the formula? So our initial beta naught is zero, right? So zero minus what is our alpha? 0 0.01, which is nothing but our learning rate. And what is our error? Minus one, right? And if you see for my next iteration, my constant or beta naught is 0 0.01. Similarly, I need to find my beta one, which is nothing but my slope m right and we know the formula here right so initially my weight is 0 minus sorry 0 minus and what is my uh, beta 1 minus alpha right so alpha is 0 0.01 which is my learning rate and my uh, error is minus 1 obviously and what is my x x is here 1 right it's the same, obviously, because you know, uh, because you know, when you multiply with one, you will get the same value, obviously, right? So, yeah. Now we got the new coefficients. With this coefficients, we'll try our second record. We know how stochastic gradient descent works. It works a row by row. Every row, we need to calculate the new coefficients, and with that coefficients, we'll be applying in the second row, right? which we already discussed right so if you see here in case of stochastic gradient descent each data point is free to ml model and it will calculate the cost function in our case error and it will update the weights based on it right so now i feed this particular data into my ml model i find the error and updated my weights now with the new weights i'll be uh, you know feeding the next row and i'll find the error <coughs> right so in in our in the next row this is our weight so 0 0.01 now based on this i'll find my predictions where x equal to 2 what would be my y right so beta naught is you know uh, 0 0.01 plus beta naught 1 which is again 0 0.01 into x my x is 2 so my value here is my prediction is 0 0.03 we know again we need to find the error so in our case is this my predicted value minus my actual value so my error is minus 2.97 now based on this error again i'll be updating my weights we already did that right so what we need to do our previous weight which is 0 0.01 right minus my alpha is my learning rate 0 0.01 into my error is minus 2.97 right now i got my new coefficient my c right which is my intercept now i need to find my slope <coughs> with the same data right so what is the formula c m m my previous m right so 0 0.01 minus my learning rate is 0 0.01 into my error is minus 2.97 into my x what is my x is to here right did you see this is my new co uh, slope right which is my beta one by now you must understand right so how stochastic gradient is and what and what is the, what what how will update our weights based on our error right now based on the new error right so i updated my weights for my coefficient and intercept now with this again with this data right so what i'll do i'll i'll again you know uh, find I'll, I'll i'll with this coefficient I'll, I'll try my next row which is my x equal to 4 and y equal to 3 right so this steps will repeat it will repeat so uh, continuously right so now you know uh, We'll find for this particular row. So we how many how many records we have? One, two, three, four, five records, right? So now 
we'll we'll iterate it for uh, all the five records and again again we'll do it we'll repeat the same steps from starting from one to five we'll do it again one to five right so i'm passing this video yeah this is how you know the final uh, the results looks like right so if you see this is my first iteration right so where i passed all my records one by one right and i find my i updated my weight based on my error again what i'm doing is i'm i'm again repeating the same steps with my updated weights right if you see what i did here is i i passed the same data set you know one two three four times right so i can call it one app ep four epochs so one epoch means like where if i send all my data sets all my rows into my model i call it one epoch so here you know i pass my data set all my records four times so you know i can call it four epochs so here i had a four epochs so what is epochs all those things so we'll we'll even discuss more detail in our you know uh, upcoming videos so now you know the based on the least error right i'll take that particular coefficients maybe you know if i feel the last iteration right so which has very less error in that case you know i will take this coefficients right so there is a concept called convergence local minima global minima right so so those concepts we'll discuss in our next video so they are very important to understand right when you talk about the gradient descent so we must understand what is global minima local minima convergence right so so with those help with 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 those parameters you know we can find the best uh, you know uh, the parameters right so hope uh, you understand what i'm trying to convey in this video right so here you know we understood how the gradient descent algorithm works especially stochastic gradient descent so we understood you know the learning rate you know we understood uh, uh, you know what we we mean by updating the weights right based on the previous error right so as i said in our upcoming videos even we'll discuss more like global minima local minima convergence at right? all the important uh, you know things so hope you enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you